Okay, so last class, or last video, I showed how to set up all of your stuff in the field apps, and I also showed how to take it to the field apps and then bring, bring it back in here. So I don't have anything in mind because I haven't gone out to collect it. But when you reopen this, you're going to come into your, your file. You, when you double click on the um, that file that it gives you when it spits it out <laughs> after the online thing, um, then you're going to see everything coming up in the drawing order. It might say assignment nine, and then if you expand it, you'll see all of the, the feature classes. So if you just turn them off, that would be best. And you're still going to have nothing on your map. Now, what I want you to do is we're going to open up a base map. So you have to go to map at the top and then go to base map. And then you're going to find this imagery hybrid. So if you choose that, it's going to bring a satellite image of the Earth onto the map. And you might get lucky that it's already there because you have these points. But if not, you just have to scan, or not scan, scroll in to find SAID. And then we're going to set up the database. So if you go over to the side, you may have the database here, or it may say default database. Either is fine. If you want to change the name of the database, you just right click it. And sometimes the rename is good, sometimes it's not. It seems like lately it has not been good, but um, if it says default, just leave it as is, and that's okay. So we know that we have these three feature data sets, and we're going to create uh, four more. And so those four that we're going to create, we're going to end with DZ, because what DZ is going to indicate is that it's digitized. So we right click on the geo database, we go to new, and then we can go to feature data set. It will open up this folder. And then I'm going to start with buildings underscore DZ. And I'm going to say current map. If it doesn't show up as current map, press the little globe and you can search for your NAT 83 3TM 114. Then click run. And then we can just stay in this window and we're just going to keep changing the name of the feature data set. So this one is going to be natural features. And then click run. And then the next one is transportation. You'll just see that I leave the DZ at the end of all of these. And then the last one is miscellaneous. And then run. So once those are done, then you can press the little X on the geoprocessing tab, and then you'll, you'll see all four DZs that you've created here. It will not let you do it if you have set the same name. So for example, I have a data the data set for natural features because that was what I used for the GPS. But now we're just going to leave, um, we're going to indicate what's going to be digitized. So now we're going to create our feature classes in our digitized or digitizing feature data sets. So right click on the buildings, go to new, and then feature class. And we're going to do this one's we're going to call it residences. And we're going to leave it as a polygon and we're going to click next and then here under the field name we're just going to call it label you can also call it name and then just check that it's a text to data type and then you can press enter to store it and then go next just to double check that the um the coordinate system is set up and then finish let it run and you'll see residences. Then we're going to do more buildings, so feature class, and this one is going to be our lecture buildings. So we just call it lecture. It is also a polygon. We'll click next, and we're going to call this, I'm just calling it label, or you can call it title, name, whatever you like. Then press finish. And then we're going to have our other buildings. And then next, and then label, and finish. So those are the three building classes that I want you to, 
digitize. Then we're going to go to natural features, go to new feature class, and under natural features, we're going to have trees, and that is a point. Now, you are not, I'm not expecting you to digitize every single tree, but um, just get a few. You know, if, maybe you want to look for the bigger ones or the ones that create patterns or something, whatever you like, but you pick up a few of them. And then we're also going to create a feature class in natural features that's called grassy areas. Notice that I don't use any spaces, um, that otherwise it'll give you an error, and then press polygon. And what I didn't do the first time was check that it's the right coordinate system and finish. Then in transportation, we're going to create a couple more here. So we're going to go new feature class. And this first one is roads. This one is a line. And we can check to make sure that the data set has been set up correctly and finish. I'm going to expand it so I can see it. And then I'm going to go new feature class and I need sidewalks. And that one's going to be a line. Now, if it ever shows you that you can't press any of these buttons, you may have to add, for example, two beside it because it may not like what you've named it. So for example, if I've done that, notice that the finish button disappears. That's because there's a sidewalk over here already. So, um, whoops. so I, I am adding the S on the end so it does dif differentiate it. And then I can say finish. And then I'm going to do two more where I'm going to add a field. So feature class, the name of this is parking lot. This one is also a polygon. Next, I'm going to have a label. So I'm going to have a name for each of my parking lots. And then finish. And then last feature class for transportation is going to be parkade. That's also a polygon. It also is going to have a label and finish. So I'll have four features under the transportation. I'll have two under natural features. Miscellaneous can be pretty much anything. There's, there's um, patios that you'll see out here. There are the train tracks. So you might want to put that. Um, and so let's, Let's say I'm going to just put out the train tracks under miscellaneous. And I'm going to make those line and finish. So now that I've got these all set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the edit toolbar at the top of my screen and I'm going to click edit. And then you're going to look for the create function and click that. And it should show up over here as docked. And then what I can do is, for example, my lecture buildings, I can click on lecture and you'll see that there's a little polygon that allows me to do. And then I can scroll, zoom into a building and I can digitize it. And I'm going to, you're, you're going to do a much nicer job than I am. So I'm just trying to use, use this as a quick example. So you would do a nicer job than that. But notice that I have no way of adding something in at the moment into the actual um, at, like the attribute to fill in that field that I created. So I'm going to go down on my contents. I'm going to find lecture. I'm going to right click it and go to attribute table. And you're going to see this label null. So here I can go in here and I can call it the building that it is. Press enter. And then I can go do the next building that I intend on digitizing. So I could do this one. And again, you're going to do a much nicer job. And that's Clayton Carroll. And press enter. And then once I'm done all the buildings, I'm going to click save. Or if I want to just do anything that might be out of the ordinary, I'm going to press save. If, for example, I accidentally 
click somewhere and I'm like, oh no, what do I do? What I can do is just draw a quick triangle and press delete on my keyboard and then it'll delete it. Um, then I can move to the next thing. So for example, if I do roads, I click on roads, you can see that it's a line. I'll close that and I can draw in a road that that is of interest to me. And I double click to finish it and then I can start drawing the next one. So that's how I do roads and then points for the trees. I click on trees and all I need to do is zoom in and find my trees and I can just click with one click everywhere that there's a tree. Oh, I think I did two there. Anyway, so I hit save. Yes. And once I've done everything, so my expectation for you guys is you must digitize all of the buildings. You have to digitize all the parking lots and the parkades. So all the buildings, all the parking lots, and all the parkades. Otherwise, the rest of it, if you do as much as you think is reasonable and you capture the most important stuff, that's what's important. So again, you just go to edit and make sure you press save. When you go to save this in the end, all of the stuff that you have just edited is gonna be here, but you need to save the project still. So you can click the little save button at the top and it will save it into your, your project. And then once you have all of this done, all of the, everything's traced over, then you have completed the digitizing process.